Okay, before I uh, start, I just want to say I'm a big fan of computers and robotics. And I'd like you to give you a brief introduction on robotics. So robots are very similar to us. Like you and me, they have a body and a brain. Now, the body consists out of, its, uh, out of its mechanical bits and parts, such as motors, sensors, and wires, comparable to the body's nerves, muscles, and whatever, everything that belongs to the body. And the brain, in both cases, instructs the rest of the body what to do. And the brain of the robot consists out of a computer chip, which, which runs on software. And software is written in these programming languages, which are based on maths uh, and logic. So as you can see here, there's a robot that's been instructed to do something. And this robot's been instructed in his native language, which is a programming language. Now, I'm sure there are not a lot on this planet that will be able to understand what this robot was set out to do, which is absolutely no problem, because not all of us go learn programming languages. Um, but the problem that I think is, and that I don't think is right, is that these people won't be able to communicate with robots which in this day and age is vital, I find, because technology is evolving so rapidly, and we need to make computers and robots more accessible. So this is the same robot with the same instruction, just this time in English. Uh, I guess this is more understandable. And, and, and this observation has given me an idea. The idea was, if it were possible to have computers and robots understand our language, as us proposed to learning their language, so I asked myself the question if it would be possible to create an application that could translate English sentences into a language the robot would understand, which is programming language. So I started this journey, and the first step to doing this was to identify all the, the keywords this, this application should identify relating to the actions a robot can accomplish. For example, I have this two-wheeled robot here. And we wanted to move from point A to point B. Now, we can use words such as move, go, uh, go, drive, and so on to accomplish this. So that was the first step. Now, the second step was to find the, the w keywords that would I mean, customize this action. For example, if we say, tell the robot to drive forward, that's, that's a very rough explanation of what we want the robot to do. So we can say robot drive forward very fast. So how should the robot do this? Very fast. When should the robot do this? Once I clap my hands and the sound is heard and so on. So that was the second step. And finally, I won't go into much detail about this. I, I designed these algorithms, step-by-step -step procedures, and wrote lines and lines of code um, with a finished product that I'd like to demonstrate to you. So en enough said, let me demonstrate this to you. So let me start up. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> um, here we go. There we go. So this is a project. Oh my gosh, the two. Never mind. So let me just start it up. Okay. No. Always happens. Okay. My bad. So we'll tell the robot to follow the line for six seconds. Let's turn them on. Let's place them on the line. And we'll click the download button. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. So being a fun tool, there are real-life applications that emerge from this. So my parents are both doctors, and I, I hear them talk about a lack of nurses in Africa, especially in rural areas. So I was thinking, well, maybe we'll have robots there one day that will assist doctors and patients and so on. And somehow people would have to interact with these robots. So I was thinking, well, maybe we could apply this technology to these robots. So I've been playing around with this thought a little, and I've, uh, I've built this prototype that I wish can, will, will be able to one day accomplish these tasks. So, for example, the bedridden patient could say something along the lines of, robot, fetch me a bottle of water and pour it into my glass. So le let me show this video. 
So this is the robot I built. Yeah, doing as it's told. <laughs> Thank you. So I believe we'll be seeing more of this human language, robotics, computer interface in the future. For actual fact, we're seeing it now. So everybody with the iPhone might have heard of Siri or even played around with it, which is a great example. Mm. And finally, I'd like to conclude that I believe, like the TED speaker, Sir Ken Robertson, that the youth is very creative. And I believe that the youth can positively innovate our planet. Thank you.